I'm getting new kitchen stuff. And I'm taking out my old oven. I'm getting a new oven delivered today. I paid Lowe's to convert the stove, the new um, uh, stove top I'm getting. Uh, I paid them to convert it from natural gas because all stoves come, like 99% of your stoves come, um, dialed in for natural gas. But I have liquid propane. And the stoves do come with a conversion kit, which I planned on doing myself. I don't need to pay anybody to do it. It's super easy. But because of us recovering from sickness, I just want them to do it for us. So um, they'll do it outside in, you know, the garage. And then um, I'll install it after that. So, but here, look, I'm taking out the old one. Here's this old, the old, old wood that's been broke. For, this has been broke forever. And there's the back of it. I had to clean up. You know, you drop stuff. <laughs> I don't know, the darnest things get under there. But yeah, we're taking this old sucker out. That is, the oven stopped working for two years now. I haven't been able to use the oven. The stoves, burners are horrible. So, and the the board malfunctions um the electrical board malfunctions and then i'm also getting a new refrigerator after christmas it won't show up i had ordered a new dishwasher to match the new stove but costco said oh your order's been canceled because we didn't fulfill it so that was nice i got it on sale and then now the it's twice as much i have to wait for a sale so my house is a mess. I'm renovating. I'm <laughs> trying to get it in order for uh, Christmas. So once it gets installed, I'll show you my new oven. I can't wait. I'm super excited. So. Okay. These people get here. And hopefully Lowe's doesn't just come and say, oh, we can't install it. Because I'm not paying them to install my oven. I'm paying them to convert it to uh, the liquid gas propane. So I'm just worried that they're going to come here and say, oh, we don't do that or something. And then I just lost money. Who knows? All right. So hopefully it all goes well. I don't know if they're going to do it today. I know they're going to haul away the old one and bring the new one. Probably just sit it, the new one in my garage until the install people come. <sighs> Try to get them in and out of here before uh, the holidays here. I've been I'm pulling out a lot of my um, pantry goods and doing some of that. Got my kids' uh, rooms finished and trying to get those in order. And so I'm still fighting some tiredness here. Goodness. Alrighty, let's. Oh, I can't wait for my oven. <laughs> hey y'all, so in one of my update videos, I was saying how Roxy's probably pregnant. And so let me show you that. I think the girl is pregnant. She's got boobies. <laughs> but, you know, there's such a thing called the false pregnancy. But her stomach's getting pretty big. So I don't think it's false. And the, the thing is, is... Her last heat cycle was in October, and of course we used the chastity belt, but there was two days that um, we weren't so vigilant. One of them was the day before her, um, I really she was in heat, and we had to go to a doctor's appointment, so she probably had the whole day to do her thing. I was hoping I was lucky <laughs> and caught it. But you know what? It's okay because we've been debating on when to let her have a litter of puppies. We've been, that's been part of the plan. So, she's going to be one heat cycle sooner than we planned on it. So, I was thinking of doing it when it's warmer weather. So, I can have most of the puppies in the garage. But, um, now is just as good a time as any. She's been through four heat cycles now. So, she's over two years old. She's not a puppy anymore. And, um, yeah, so 
works, Dave. Let me see. Your tummy tum. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Are you gonna have some puppies? I got all of her puppy whelping center gonna come and then we're gonna set that up and I'll show you her little whelping area, huh? And she has um she has vaginal discharge too. It's been coming out. I'm still in the middle of redoing my kitchen, so it's a bit a little bit messy here. Alright, so the people that are coming to install our oven and or convert it. And um, they're perfectly safe. We've been testing negative. We're just, you know, trying to recoup energy wise. Uh our recovery. So when we were sick, we hadn't yet had to turn on our central heating. So that's good. And I refused to turn on even though it was getting colder. I was like, I am not I don't want it in my air conditioning decks. You know, I don't know. I was probably, you know, with air filters it's good, but I just didn't want to with my kids um, being home for the holidays. So we waited and until we were testing negative before we turned the heat on. But I had been opening my windows every day and just letting, you know, fresh cold air in. Um, and it was freezing <laughs> for a little bit. But. Now uh, we got the heat and air on and it's warming up and I still been opening up all the windows um, once a day and turning my whole house fan on for 30 minutes and then shutting off and then turning the heat back on again. So, but that's, that's that. And then also today is my birthday and I am 45 years old today. So for my birthday, I don't want to do anything. That's my present. Is me not having to do anything, and all my chores are being done for me. And Sean's taking care of Shandon, and um, I'm getting a new oven and a refrigerator. <laughs> my fridge won't come on later, and I'm getting the dishwasher later too. I have to just find it on sale again. So, but those are my gifts. We normally don't do Christmas or, or presents for each other because my husband says every day is your birthday, every day is Valentine's Day, every day is Christmas. So when you have kids and you don't have much money, you tend to not buy each other gifts. You want to give all your, your, whatever you can to your children. And so that's how it's always been. But now, um, I got a little bit of extra cash and I'm able to you know get me a few new things so and that's because my kids don't live at home anymore <laughs> and they're taking care of themselves for the most part so it leaves me with uh, the ability to buy myself Christmas and pre birthday presents again <laughs> uh, all right so yeah I'm just waiting on this stove I can't wait I'm super excited I can't wait to bake in the oven again so instead of just using my toaster oven. All right, so let's go check out the whelping area for Roxy Girl. It's dark, can I put it in my room? Cause it's a darker area and she likes that. So let's just show you here. I'll move that fan. We like the fan for the white noise, you know? So, but I'll turn that off and move it somewhere else. Yeah, this is her welcoming area. Got that one of those extra, extra large pools from Costco. And her old bank is in there. So we're gonna see how that goes. We gotta get her used to it and have them outside. Let's go take a look at what they're doing. Roxy, you gonna have babies? Look at me. Are you gonna have babies? She is 
seven days left according to my math. So she she started her heat cycle earlier than I expected and we were at a doctor's appointment and I got home and realized, oh no, she needs her chassis built on, but that one day, that's all it took. That's okay, we were gonna have her have puppies anyways. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hey, don't be running. Get over here. Hey, come here, Roxy. Roxy, come here. She's running. She only has eight more days. Get over here. Hey. No. Stop running around like you're not pregnant. <laughs> so, eight more days. I was thinking at first it was a false pregnancy, but no. It's not. Oh, so today's my birthday also. I got my stove delivered. Let's go look at that. Alright, so here's the new stove. It's not installed. It's a GE slate color. Double oven. And one of the ovens is supposed to be oven fry. So, bear gave me the right one, huh? <laughs> Looks real nice. I'm waiting for the installers to come install it for me. And I would do it myself. But um, it needs to be converted from natural gas to liquid pro propane. So I, that's why I paid them to do it. Um, so I hope they come and do it. If not, I I know I can do it. It's just me recovering and I just don't have, you know, the will to want to do it. <laughs> so, because you have to put a conversion kit in and the conversion kit is easy. It would be easy if it was just a single oven but because it's a double oven and the air fry i don't know if i can get in there if i have the right tools because you have to get in the ovens to change out and put the little metal pieces in and then um they're like the little gas holes you they unscrew out screw in so uh, i don't know hopefully they get here sooner and we have a just a brand new oven sitting in my kitchen for a while. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty. Nice and pretty. Oh, she wants in. Alright. Don't be running around anymore. Come on, Roxy. Roxy, come on. Hey, girl. Come on, little girl. Don't be running around. There you are. Uh-uh, boots. You're not getting no treats. You're not getting no treats. Look at how pretty. <gasps> Look at how pretty you guys are. Uh -uh, boots down. Anyways. Uh, no, relax. So, that's my update. My little vlog for the week. And uh, we're feeling better. We're doing good. I'm trying to I'm cleaning out my cabinets too while I'm my I'm taking apart the kitchen. Might as well uh, reorganize some cabinetry. Okie dokie, y'all. We'll just talk to you later, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Mm -hmm.